Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to extract text between characters. In this case, uh, parentheses. Now, this could be also any type of other characters like brackets or quotes. But I'll show you two ways that we can do it. One using some Excel functions and the other are using Power Query. So the first example here is we want, what we want to do is we want to search for the first instance of that opening parentheses. So what, what I can do is use the search function or a find function. Either one of those will do. And I'm going to search for that opening parentheses. Right? I'm going to find it within uh, this text. I want to find that text within this text. And I don't really need to worry about that start number. Close parentheses, press enter. And it would, what it's going to do is it's in the seventh place of this uh, text string. Right? Double click the fill handle to drop it down, that formula down. And what I want to do now, so here I'm going to use the mid function and it's going to pull out text starting from a certain location. And that location is going to be the first instance of that parentheses, right? So I want to pull out uh, text from here. The start number is going to be this one, but I'll show you why I need to add something to that one. And the number of characters, well, this one we can I kind of eyeball it and just kind of guess. If we know that the the characters or the text within our um, parentheses here is not going to be a certain length, we can probably put that in, but we don't really know. It could be something that's uh, 100 characters, 1,000 characters, so um, you can just probably kind of guess. I'm just going to put 1,000 characters here. Not, nothing's going to be over 1,000 characters, but that's going to be my safe bet. All right. So you see here that it's picked up that first parentheses there, and I don't need that there, so what I'm going to do is add a 1. You're going to make, instead of the seventh place, you're going to make it the eighth place. So we don't have to have that there, right? So plus one. And I'll double click the fill handle to bring that down there. Now, this is kind of just the easiest way to do it. I'll just copy, control C to copy, uh, and then just paste it as values. And I'm just going to do a find, control F, find any of those closing parentheses and uh, delete it. And just replace it with nothing. So I would do replace all, click OK, close. So now I have all my items that are uh, between those characters, the opening parentheses and closing parentheses. So that's one way we can do it. The other way we can do it is to use something called Power Query. Let's delete this. Uh, well, actually, let me move this. Let me move this aside. Control Shift plus plus plus. Just add a couple columns there. And I want to just have this particular column in it by itself. And you can see, I'm going to do something later on. You can see how using this particular method may not work as well sometimes, depending on how we have things here. So what I'm going to do here is go through the second example where I'm going to use Power Query. To use Power Query, uh, that's something that's in that's already there in Excel 2016. If you have Excel 2010 or 2013, you're going to have to download it from Microsoft and enable it. But since this is Excel 2016, we can just go under the Data tab in the ribbon and click from Table. And it's going to create a one-column table here in this, in this instance. Yes, my table does have headers because the first row is the header field. Click OK. And we're going to have the Power Query Editor. Now with the Power Query Editor, what we can do is we can click on Add Column. And I want to, maybe I want to keep this column. I just want to bring out these there's these particular um, text values from there. All I need to do is click under Extract, and this last option here is Text Between Delimiters. Now, the delimiter is anything like this characters here that I'm talking about, the opening parentheses and the closing parentheses. So, what I can do here now is just, hey, my start delimiter is that opening parentheses, my end delimiter is that closing parentheses, click OK, and bam, we've got our uh, text between delimiters, go to home, close and load, and now it's going to put it into a new worksheet, right? So I have it right there available for me. Now, one th complication that we can add to this is if we have this instance. Let me copy this particular table and put it over here. Uh, page just pastes values, right? Let's delete this. Uh, right click, delete. And I had my first item here, right? My, my first thing I did was I searched for the open parentheses, quotes, parentheses, open parentheses, close quotes within that text, right? It's seven, double click to fill that down. And then I did my mid to search 
in that text with a start number and 1000 press enter oh I forgot to add plus one here right and I'm not going to do the find and replace here, but if I had something like this happen, where I had opening parentheses old, something, just anything, space, now you notice that it picked that up. And so there was two instances of parentheses, and how we would have to solve for that. Let's, let's say it was something that was inter interspread between here. That adds a complication to it. So what happens here, let me go ahead and do it this way. Let me add it to this one, All right? And we're going to refresh this, and you can see that happen, right? Refresh that, you see it happen here. And let's go back into Power Query, and this is where the magic of Power Query comes into play. Right click, click Edit. And in this step, maybe I have to go under, let me click on the gear icon to bring back that particular window. We'll notice that we have our advanced options here, so I'm going to click to open that. And we may think that, okay, we want to scan for the first start delimiter. Since we have two start delimiters, let's skip one of them, right? So we're going to say scan for the start delimiter, start from the start of the input, from the start of the input, number of start delimiters skip. We're going to skip one. We're going to skip that one, and hopefully it'll bring that back and click OK. But we notice that that doesn't really work because it only brings back that first item there because the other ones don't have it. What we want to do, click on this again, is we want to start from the end, right? So we want to start from the end of the input. And when we start from the end, we don't really want to skip any delimiters, right? We don't want to skip any delimiters because we're starting from the back here, right? So we want to pick everything else up here. Now, so for the end delimiter, we want to scan for the end delimiter. We want to start from the start delimiter, the beginning, and we want to scan uh, towards the end, right? We want to start from the start and scan towards the end from left to right, but we want to skip one of the end delimiters, right? So that's going to be one. Click OK. And now we have our items here. And all we need to do here now is just get rid of that end delimiter. So I can go here, click on this column. I'm in transform and go to replace values and replace values. What I'm going to do is replace that ending parentheses with nothing. Click OK. And now we have our items here. And go to home, close and load. And that old gets replaced by item 17. You can see the rest of it is the text within the parentheses. So that's how we can extract uh, text out of uh, characters, or in this case, parentheses. You can see using Power Query is a little bit more powerful. Uh, there's options that you can use within it, those advanced options, where we can kind of fine tune it a little bit without writing too many functions in Excel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.